Welcome back. Today, I'm very excited to begin Dragon Prince. This is one of two shows we'll be watching. The other one is Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. This show came highly requested, and it seems like a very natural transition after The Last Airbender and Korra. What do I know about it? Only that Avatar and this show share a writer in common. I think Aaron, he has, it has, I just messed that up epically, is the creator and writer of this show. And I know it has Sokka's voice actor. That's it. My plan, like with every show, is to come into this with an open mind and open heart. I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of story you can tell. So yeah, here we go. It's weird not having the Avatar openings anymore. Earth. Oh no. Wrong show. Open heart. Open heart. Looks beautiful already. Whoa. And dragons. Wow, I'm already loving the animal design. There were only the six primal sources. The sun. The moon. The stars. Whoa. A human age discovered dark magic. The elves and the dragons. This is so cool. This is beautiful. The music, first of all, is fantastic. The tone it sets is perfect. I love that ancient feeling. I love the the elements being like the sun, the moon, the stars, the ocean, the earth. I'm missing one. I love this sort of fantasy feel. It's so cool. The king of the dragons himself defended the border. <laughs> No, you fools. <laughs> they destroyed his only egg, his heir, the dragon prince. Now the world stands on the edge of all out war. Wow. That opening was incredible. It's a pretty bleak depiction of the world so far. The dragon was such a beautiful thing. I'm wondering why, what possessed them to kill it? You fools. Why do humans always have to mess everything up? The humans are framed sort of as villains here because they invented black magic and they killed the king dragon or god dragon or whatever who, even without knowing the show, I know that's a tragedy. But also just something about dragons is so special. The design of them is beautiful, but also just thematically, there's so much you can do with them. Dragons are a threat to humans and it's not only their physical power and their raw animalistic danger that poses that threat. It's also a symbolic threat. Part of them is that they're just too good. You know, they're too good for humans. They're just better than us. And so sometimes the instinct is to kill things that are pure, to kill things that are good. Which is why I think it works so well in shows sometimes when, when people tame dragons. In a way, it's like a human mastery. It's like a self-mastery. So there's so much you can do with this. Plus you have like the elves and you have, I'm guessing, other magical elements. Really, really powerful start to the show. So the dragon prince is the egg. Book one, moon. Chapter one, echoes of thunder. I see we're doing books. It didn't take long to have a comparison to The Last Airbender. Looking forward to meeting the, the characters. Ew. It's okay, Ezra. It's just a thunderstorm. <laughs> that voice. Oh my god. It fills me with so much warmth and joy. No. New show, new characters. Come on. Open mind, open heart. Who are you? What happened there? She just couldn't kill him? What's the deal with the mirror? Lord Vir, uh, King Hero hasn't risen yet. <laughs> I see they're uh, they're close, or he just doesn't give a crap. It's different this time. We believe they're Moon Shadow Elves. Moon Shadow Elves. Then how did the scout escape? I don't know. Yeah, and the elf had sympathy, empathy for him. There's something weird about that. It's been a while since I've watched anything that's this kind of fantasy setting. Typically, it's something that I really love, you know, to have like the elves and the humans, etc. And not only the humans and elves, but like factions of humans, factions of elves. I hope it comes together in a nice way. I'm wondering what the adventure will be for the, the kids we saw. Send for General Amaya and the standing battalion. The breach is too far. We'll never make it back in time. I also know this show's gonna be difficult for me because of names. That's not my strongest suit. With the Moon Shadow Elves at the height of their power, no defense will stand against them. Then we won't defend. We will attack. Bold move. But they're obviously not villains. They're already setting up that character as being someone who's not evil.
Oh, she time. faked the killing. Yeah. I used both of them. Okay, so she just couldn't kill him. Prince Esrin! <laughs> I caught you! I was just admiring them. With my hands, right. Hey! So I think his name is Prince Ezrin, right? Living in luxury, not a care in the world, oblivious to the darkness forming outside the gates, and his world is about to be turned upside down, probably. I'm guessing he'll meet the the assassin with a conscience. Harry, Harry, you're dead. Harry, dead. <laughs> you have to practice anyway, because that's what's expected of a prince. Or a <clears throat> step prince, actually. What? Ooh. A little old for you, no? <laughs> hey, uh, can we try again? I think I can do it now. Hey, nothing like your crush to inspire you to work harder. I was trying to sweep the leg. That's not a thing in sword fighting. Oh. <laughs> I see what's going on here. Yep, I think we all see what's going on here. I'll help. You Ooh, what a good guy. <laughs> That's awesome. Damn, I immediately love this guy. What a bro. Man, it's the little things, man. It's the little things that make you love characters. Uh, that guy just won me over. Not only is he insightful about people's character, but he's willing to take a sword. Kind of. For, for a friend. Sort of. I've watched approximately 20 seconds of this show so far, but this guy's my favorite character. <laughs> I also always love training scenes. Like if you guys, you guys who followed me long enough, you know, like my favorite episodes are always the, you know, the master pupil thing. It's like something that's so special to me. Partly because I feel like it's such a rare relationship. It's such a hard thing to find people who are actually like good mentors who really want the best for you. We have so many people in our lives who teach us stuff, but it's rare to find people who actually are insightful. It's not enough to just teach them the thing or the art. You're also like looking out for them as people. That's something I felt as a teacher, you know, it's like, it's a special moment when you can sort of transcend the subject that you're in and you actually have like a meaningful connection. And this guy is like showing me that he actually really does care about Callum. So major points, I like that scene a lot. By the stab prince, Lord Spurgeon, <laughs> why Spurt? Boys, you're going on a trip. Oh, you gotta get him out of here. This is something I need you to do. Read between the lines. Yes, sir. Right. Come on, Damn, I have a bad feeling for the king. Why is he sending us away? Something's wrong. Yeah. A giant moon moth. Follow it, and you will find them. You're saying they'll kill the king? Shh. Did you hear that? <laughs> oh, he did. You're just a kid, Callum. He's our king, and he's my father. Well, technically, he is your stepdad. But I'm sure it's similar. <clears throat> Think fast. <laughs> it's a big responsibility for Soren. I hope he doesn't die. I just, like, I'm in love with his character. Better stay alive. But you know, he's just looking out for Callum. He obviously loves him a great deal. Like, even his poking fun at him, it doesn't feel mean. He's just jabbing him. Jabbing at him. <laughs> Callum's got a lot of heart, but he's obviously not ready to deal with anything. Five minutes ago, he had no interest in fighting whatsoever. But now, now that the stakes are real, it's gotta be frustrating. Oh no! Can't even do that right. Can't even temper tantrum correctly. Life is bad. We take it, but we do not take it lightly. Yeah. So they're obviously not bad guys. Vernon? What is it, Rayla? Rayla. What if they know we're coming? We have the advantage of surprise. Oh, right, but she didn't kill that guy, so she knows. <laughs> Esrin, you don't get it, do you? Why do you think they're sending us away? Because they're coming to kill him. No, you shouldn't tell him that. Yeah, you tell him. Yeah, I mean, Callum doesn't know how to deal himself. He's looking around for someone to, like, sympathize with, but his younger brother is not... It's not the one. Let's see if this magic moon moth can find more than a closet full of moon sweaters. <laughs> you know, because moths eat clothes. Yes, sir. He's awfully relaxed. Are they invisible? Oh, they turned into trees. You've killed us all. No.
No, that's it. That was so fast. Damn. I feel like there's so much potential here, but it's such a big world. I feel like it'll take a while to build it. Like, I really want to know where the humans stand and where the king stands in all this. There's got to be a lot more to it than we got in the intro at a surface level. It can't be that humans are just evil, right? And the elves are not going to be evil either. And the dragons aren't going to be evil either. And to me, this is very exciting because I love it when it's not about good guy, bad guy. It's about people with different perspectives and those perspectives all colliding. I'm just guessing here, but what might happen is there's a team formed between Callum and Ezran and the elf, Rian? Damn it, I'm so terrible with names. There's definitely a much bigger thing forming beneath the surface and I can't wait to see where it goes. But beyond plot and story, although like the frames are a little bit choppy, I think the art style is beautiful and the music is incredible. Whoever scored this did a really great job. I love the potential for the world. It seems like the, the lore is going to be really rich. There's a lot of little cool details in here that are really awesome. All the little magical elements, the moth, the elven rituals, there's going to be a lot of really cool things here. So I can't wait to see where this goes. Before this video ends, I have to give a huge thank you to everybody who joined the top tier on Patreon this week. Special shout out goes to Ace and Dallas Cantrell. Thank you to you and to all my patrons for all the support and to everybody watching. Love you guys. See you soon.